Hello and welcome back to the Classically Urban Podcast. It is your boy, Baby Ice Cube. Today, we are just winging it, going back to the old school. Just free balling, free the titty, not wearing any yeah. bras. We're just we're just going at it. Going straight Bernie Sanders, free, free everything. Free balling, free balling. I am Enrian Gryphos. I do video game stuff sometimes when I feel like it. I'm George. And I'm your mother's favorite side hoe. So guys, how's everybody's week's been? Garbage. <laughs> wow. Straight uh, off the bat. I was I was I was planning on like making you guys feel bad about like whatever your week was. It probably wasn't as awesome as mine because I was in Florida, but now I feel bad because you know your week actually wasn't that great. No. What? What? Why? How come? Um, I know you said uh, you had the whole management change thingy, right? Yeah. Uh, so what's up with that? Had a mental breakdown. Now I have to. F- now I come to find out that I have to work every single day for the near future. So were, life's going great. Were those correlated with each other? No. Or? Oh no. No, the mental breakdown happened first. <laughs> oh, oof. So life's going great, Wait, guys. That, ha- that happened earlier this week. Yeah, yeah that happened That's, on Sunday. Bro, that seems like it's been two, like three weeks ago now. It's Sunday or Monday? I feel like that happened so long ago. No, the first time it happened. This is the second time. I know, but I'm talking about like what you texted us about. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, did that happen again? This is the second time. This week? Like what? No. What over the... No. Right. Oh, no. Yeah. I remember... Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. time was Grand Theft Auto. This time was this. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. It's whatever. Oh, no, I feel you. I feel you. Um, my week was pretty... Uh, Before you go into boring? that, on the topic of shitty siblings, my sister just called me and then made me feel like an old piece of crap. Yo, bro, she was just shit. roasting me nonstop. Brando was here, and I was like, "Hey, I'm pretty cool. I I go out clubbing and stuff, and I dance." And she's like, uh, "You go to a line dancing bar. You're lame." And I'm like, uh, "No, no, no. My no. reasoning for going I mean, we, there. I've been saying that since you started going. My reasoning for going there stays the same, and it stays good enough for me to not." care static no (laughs) no i'm like one of the only black guys that goes there i'm going to a pond that no one else is fishing at i'm a commodity he's got a point yeah he's a commodity yeah yeah all them racist white bitches and i'm good at dancing yo you they want to piss off daddy you know how many girls want to upset their fathers yeah i know (laughs) i would say we've had a podcast where you straight up asked me brandon would you do it for the culture and i was like no but you would (laughs) have done it (laughs) So you can't I, judge him. Yeah, I'm still it. mad about that. I know you are. It's okay. <laughs> Gotta do it for the culture, man. Nah, I'm He's only doing to. it. He only said that because his girlfriend watches the podcast. Yeah. No, I really wouldn't have done it. You that. shut up. You're fucking lying. No, I'm You're not. A liar. I'm not. He's so faithful. Kill him, Michael. Liar. Dude. Yeah. You know, black men don't cheat, bro. Yeah. No, no, I'm not even talking about that. Slip slip up. Hannah Facts. aside. Facts. Hannah doesn't exist right now. Black do it for the culture cheat. or not. Hannah always exists, bro. <laughs> oh, my fucking. <laughs> Shut up. See, see, now you're just bitch made. Listen. Yeah, black Facts. men don't cheat, bro. I'm a faithful. Well, man. I'm not telling you to cheat. I'm part of the faithful. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, part of the faithful black I'm man community. I'm saying in a world where Brandon is single and he said, fuck it, let's go out with the boys and we go out in this racist bitch. Is being racist and stuff. I don't know how, but she just is. She's wearing the clan hood, know. but just the hood. The rest I don't know. She's doing bitches. some racist shit, and then she's like, she's like, I want you to fuck me. You wouldn't fuck her for the culture? Hannah aside. Plant plant the black dick in the racist bitch. Be like, that's right, bitch. Like, Hannah doesn't exist. No, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Brandon doesn't know the meaning of hypothetical. Okay. okay. The answer is still no. He's such an upstanding pussy. <laughs> No, it's because, kidding. it's because I can't. Kidding. I don't like to surround myself with people that kind of energy, bro. You're not surrounding. Yeah, you're no. implanting. Bada bing, bada boom. No, you're not going that far inside. Or you're not that big, man. You're not dating her. <laughs> you don't ever. You don't ever. Chill, you don't bro. ever plan. Chill. You don't ever plan to see her again. You just want to fuck her for the culture. Mm-hmm. Like take this bitch this, uh, for this the ancestors. <laughs> no, because I just don't like that kind of energy, bro. That's just the way I am. Whatever. He's got little dick That's energy. That's why you get a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a question for Brandon Caleb. Hi, hand touching. <laughs> yeah. Would question? you let a girl in the middle of some dirty talk call you the N word? No. Oh, no. no. That would no. kill the like, mood. Give me that N word, dick. Oh, no. No, nah, bro. I that, couldn't. that would kill the mood for me. That's a, that's a lot. That's really? A, that's a no for me, dog. Her, slapping her, spitting her face. Just like, give me that N. No, nothing. First of all, we're not Cody. Second of all, all right. no. All right. I would not do <laughs> that. Let's not put my. <laughs> Let's not put things in his mouth, guys. Let's not put things in his mouth. (laughs) Nah, like that. I don't know. Like some some black dudes are probably into that. Like it wouldn't surprise me. Some dudes will. Wait, you don't get a little bit rough when you're you know having that hand hanky punky. 
No, no. I'm, I'm just curious, bro. Shut up. Cody's favorite ideal partner is a punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? I am cutting that. That was too much. Anyway, there are some people who are into that kind of stuff where it was like, yo, like I remember Donald Glover had a bit about it. And he was like, she ca- she said, give me some of that nigger dick. And he's like, I never came so hard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, you know, if that's you, that's you. That shit was funny to me, but like, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. Because oh, no. <laughs> no. I would just, I would just be looking there like I would, because it, I think it's partly because I'm a history major that I, my mind would have went through all the like fucked up shit that everyone that's had. That's what it's and supposed to. And you would start to. pounding no, harder, wouldn't no. you? I would just be like. It's for the slave trade, I, I would, I, What would happen was I would literally get sad and then just want to punch her in the back of the head and leave. Like, that's the only thing that would so happen. So you punch her in the back of the head while you're fucking her. Trust me, it's a good time. No. <laughs> no. You see, I think what it, it is great. is that Brandon isn't able to get fully offended from that hypothetical situation. He's only halfway invested into it. Mm. <laughs> you just made a half... Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, Caleb. Put some race on that shit. Race on that shit. Wait a minute. Put some race on that shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's because you're mixed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. High hand touches. High hand touches. You guys are idiots. <laughs> what they say for Cody? Pink dick? Oh, more of that pink dick? Oh, pink my dick? dick? God. Yeah. Oh, to be um, offensive towards him? No, just like in the middle of some like really raunchy, dirty talk. I mean, uh, one no. of my. Listen, if you start this. One story, of the mothers that I am a side hoe of. <laughs> <laughs> Call, calls calls me her pink starburst. Oh, oh no! So that's the best starburst, y'all. It oh. is though. But <laughs> now I can't eat starburst anymore. Yeah. You guys want to sponsor us? You're still welcome to. <laughs> and it's not because my dick's the only part that's pink. It's like oh. I'm so pale, I'm pink. So like you know. Oh my god, that's that is pink hilarious. Star- but yeah, that's bro. true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm called the Pink Starburst. Wow. That is wild. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, but yeah, my, okay. You have to throw anyway. out the whole boy. Anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my I gave her the whole pack of Starburst. <laughs> you know, I just feel like Gushers trash. would be a better like analogy because they. Those no, but explode. I'm pink. That's the because I'm not I a know. pink gusher. Is there not? Like, no. Star- I don't no. eat Gushers, so I don't know. There's only like red, green, blue, and I think yellow. Yeah. I think. Oh. Gushers Fuck. are fucking great. No, gushers are pretty great. Yeah. I can't imagine how much sugar's in them, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't even eat anyway. super sugary things in it. Back to Dog, kids. same. Oh, I, I have just fucking I my teeth like, up. Yeah, man. I'll look at them. And I'll, I'll, I won't. I don't have any cavities anymore because I got my shit taken care of. But I was like, man, just thinking about that. Dog, they get to how bad out my teeth would hurt. On my wisdom teeth? Mm. Boy. You, don't, you still have your wisdom teeth? Yeah. Yeah. What? Man. I've never lucky, gotten mine removed. Lucky dogs. Same. No, not lucky. They hurt. What? Yeah, you're the only one who's gotten them, Nick. You're the only one who's gotten them out. Man. You got good oh. insurance. Damn. Not insurance I just too. don't need to. Yeah, same. Like, I don't need them. Isn't it you don't either. have to take them out until they like start hurting you? Yeah. 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 Cody just, uh, just ignores it. Oh. Oh, you're a trooper. Sometimes they bleed, like right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, as a matter of fact, right now, I can taste the blood. There's <laughs> a lot of iron in that one. <laughs> Please sign up That's for our how Patreon you know still so you can get Cody's fucking wisdom teeth removed. <laughs> get, <to see> <laughs> get his wisdom teeth removed. Get his hernia fixed. <laughs> nah, you some, deser- you get deserve him a real hernia. therapist. A, you, you deserve that hernia. It's a lower tier on our Patreon. How do I deserve a hernia? You just it's not do. that you just high do. of a priority. <laughs> You're an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to Caleb's original question. How's your week, bro? I'm in this weird point where like I'm between jobs, right? Like I have my job, but... I'm You're making the transition to your big boy one, right? Yeah. And I'm just waiting for the clearance to go through, all that stuff. And I've just been sitting around for the past two weeks because I don't work that much at my other job anymore because he's trying to weed me out of the working all the time. Make them is. more independent or yeah. not not as dependent on you to pull yeah. all the weight. Yeah, yeah. And I've literally just been sitting around all week. Like, I can't play video games anymore. I get too bored. Like, that's how that's how where my life is at. Same. Yeah, but you have a full-time job. Be quiet. Why don't yeah. you hit the gym? That's a good point. Yeah, like uh, uh, yeah, that's one of the things. big like, belly. I, <laughs> I'm I'm not body shaming. No, no, no. You're right. No, you're right. Fucking body shaming. He's got a goddamn Wait. cannonball strapped to his body. <laughs> that is rude, Cody. I don't judge you for your for your mishaps. I do. But that's, yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? You should do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like there are, there are some days where I do just yeah. like we have like this little um, I don't know what you call it. 
uh, like a, the yoga balls. No, it's oh. like a machine that's like a cardio machine. Treadmill. It's, it's not a. Tr- shut up. It's, I know elliptical. Stair stepper. No, elliptical. it's a, like a. It's like a combination between a stair step and elliptical and a treadmill. Oh. I just don't remember what it's called. Is it that bike? It's Bowflex. <laughs> that's yo. It's a Bowflex oh, machine. Shoot. I just don't know which one oh. it is. Is it the one in your mother's room? No, it's the one. It's in the basement now. I don't remember then. Yeah. Mm. And there have been times I just was like, yeah, why not? You know, yeah, I feel it. But See, all of one minute. <laughs> no, it's. it's <laughs> I, I usually can go for about twenty minutes, and I'll just be chilling. Hannah, can you confirm this in the comments? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but the other thing I've been doing is I just be reading all the time now. Because you know, someone's smart. No, no, I mean, I've no, been wanting like, to like get back into reading. Like that's one of the things that <laughs> readings for books. If I <laughs> time. <laughs> All, all the greatest entrepreneurs EBI. were r- avid readers. Oh, I was going to say there was a time stamp, but there's not. God, there Check is. it. I just have to look at it. God, you trash. Now you got to listen to this again. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't even care. I anymore. wanted to get like more into reading, but I just don't have the time. Like I'll, I'll get really engrossed in a book, and then I'll just be really busy for a while. And I'll go back and be like, I don't know how the frick I got here. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. I don't have the patience anymore. I just don't. Well, you like to listen to stuff more than read stuff. Podcasts yeah, are awesome. True. Yeah. So I might start doing audiobooks. It's just like it takes away some of the imagination. The first audiobook I would I would say you should read is The Four Agreements, just because it's a great book. The Four what? The Four Agreements. It's a good book. It's Give good me book. a synopsis. I mean, it's just four... Like, Why don't you go to the audiobook page for it so we don't waste time in our podcast telling about another podcast? It's not a podcast. It's a book. Audiobook. It's just a book. What do you mean? I thought you said it was an audiobook. Yeah, it's an audiobook. Am I not, not the same thing? What's it about, Brandon? Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah, no, there's no, um, he's I think he's a, either a pastor or he's some type of reverend, like religious leader, whatever. Yes, Lord. Lord. I don't remember his name, which is terrible. But uh, why am I worried about being efficient? He just has podcast. four. We don't have a structure. He just has four agreements yeah. that he thinks everyone should like think about as they live their daily lives, and they're like <laughs> things that like they're not those like normal common sense things that you always have in the back of your head. They're just like new ways of thinking almost. Okay, I, I probably won't. But all right. Okay. Gotta fine. get Derek Grace Jr.'s book, Gods Amongst Men. Oh, God. I, I 365 think... Ways to Supreme Being. <coughs> that's, I've heard that's a good book. It's a cool book. The, the, that's just... I've already ranted about this. Never mind. I like a good like sci-fi or fantasy novel. I did read the Mass Effect books. Oh? What a fucking nerd! I would, no, if I had dope. the time, I'd read the Game of Thrones no, books. No. That's all a big read, but I mean, I'd read it. I haven't been watching the TV show for the past like season and a half. So I'm a little bit behind, but it you, was one of the series I was really into. You know what's one book I actually enjoyed, and you're going to be very surprised by this? Mein Kampf. <laughs> That's not a surprise. <laughs> Obviously, surprised. I love Mein Kampf. <laughs> Would not be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Would not be surprised. Oh, the book? Bible. Oh, yeah, no. The no, if you don't cool read stories. it as a religious text, and you read it like Game of Thrones, it's pretty badass. Yeah, that, that book this dude, the Samson, Old Testament, what? bro. Mm-hmm. The Old Testament be wild. Yeah. <laughs> wild. If you can't wild. handle me at my Old Testament, you don't deserve me at my New uh, Testament. It was like remember. one of those funny little things. Yeah, the Old Testament has some like, when they say someone's Old Testament, like biblical, you know not to fuck with them people because they are real. <laughs> like, they be out here ready you to have decapitate sh- people. You have shamed me? I have to kill you now. God. You gotta throw out the whole person. Bruh. Like, you, bro, I fuck, I forget which dude it was but some dude was getting made fun of so god sent a bunch of bears to kill the people who were making fun yeah of it was him. like i think they were making fun of him because he was bald or something yeah elijah that's who it was yeah they made fun of a bald dude so the god sent a bear to kill these people <laughs> like just the most <laughs> random shit it's it's pretty metal like, right it's yeah. like so random but yeah the book the bible is like a good book if you don't read as religious text that's actually a fire but book. if you read it as religious text after you don't Seems a little fucking goofy. Right. God sent bears to kill these people. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds real to you? I mean, yeah, of course. It's real, oh, Jesus Tony. Christ. Of course. Well, there's, well, different, there's different levels. I like reading it for the stories and then <laughs> looking at the morals you can get for from the For the stories. memes. Yeah. But don't live your life by the morals. Just like, you know, in Star Wars, you probably shouldn't, like, join an evil empire and try killing your kids. Shit. FTK, baby. <laughs> the kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Child support? <laughs> <laughs> School supplies? <laughs> Lunch money? 
Why did the three of us initially like go, oh, for the kids. That was good. And he's like, fuck them kids. <laughs> fuck them kids. FTK, baby. I lost where I was going with that. Look, if you're gonna live, you want what for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Your hand? I'll let you keep one. Right. <laughs> I bet that's cheaper than a casket. I mean, shit. I'm on the other oh, one. Yo, George, dark. Uh, I'm not gonna trying. kill him. Just fuck, fuck him. <laughs> not fuck him. Just fuck scar him. them. Yeah, just traumatize them for life. That got weird. There's I realized what happened. There's there. a genre for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> genre for that. <laughs> Oh, oh, hashtag, hashtag pedophilia is not okay. No, but yeah, I'm just kind hashtag. Of a, I work with a. Never mind. Hashtag, hashtag fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> FTK. I feel like I'm kind of in a limbo. You know, I've been pretty. Yeah. Must be nice. No, I hate it. You should, um, dude. If I had that much time, you know, I would be doing so much shit. Really? Yes. But here's the thing, yeah. though, That's Cody. Cool. I don't make enough money to improve be doing all types of shit anymore. Improve your culinary prowess. Just like see, find some shit around the house and just start Bro, whipping shit cook. up. What you mean? Or oh. call up your yeah, boy. Yeah, you can whip up a mean bowl of cereal, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I can actually cook, bro. Or, Brandon, hey, call up your I'm boy because I've been wanting to go to a cigar bar recently. I, what, would I, what would I be doing in a cigar What the bar? fuck would Hanging you do at a me. cigar bar? Smoke. Ew, smoking's for dummies. What? Here. How, he has known me since we were in the sixth grade. It's a cigar. Smoke. It's a cigar. <laughs> You puff, but you don't inhale. You're I don't think you really smoke. realized that it literally took Phil to get married for him to go out with us. No, 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 no. That no, is not, not true. That. that is not true. <laughs> the way all three of you are looking at me right now tells me it's true, but I don't is think it, it it's is. It's very true. It's a yeah. little true. But that was such a fun time yes. when you came out with us. On top of that, he used to shit on you for smoking. No, that was cigarettes, though. Cigarettes and cigars It's are tobacco. He's not that much of a bitch. Are you? What? Jesus Christ. Smoking's George. bad. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> how do... uh, You know, these are the moments where, like, sometimes I feel like Hannah is so justified in worrying about the time I spend with George. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Hold up. It's, just me? It's very, it's very justified. Just me. <laughs> and Hannah likes me, and I don't think she particularly dislikes Cody. She has her moments with Cody, but... I mean, it's Cody. But her and Cody have their Look moments together. You know I, what I mean? fucking, I live my life how I want. Yeah. yeah. Eat my ass. <laughs> that just sounds terrible. Uh, there was a strange Twitter thread that I ended up on. Uh-oh. This is yeah. always a subject. Okay, let's story. hear it. Yeah, it was just like, it, it, there was this page, and it was nothing. I, I think it was like someone commented on something. And I was like, I'm reading through the comments, and I would go to the page see what the fuck else they had to say because they would say some like fried shit on this thread and i'd be like huh let's see if they said any other fried shit and i ended up on this page where it was nothing but gifs of girls jerking off dudes and licking their assholes and i was like how did i get here and then i was like hold up this could be some comedy so i started reading the comments jesus christ dude oh my god <laughs> is it like oh, is it one of those there ones were so those many people who were down with it they were like hell yeah look that ass and i was like I yeah. thought it was going to be one of those things where it's like, uh, describe what's happening here, wrong answers only, because those are the funny things. No, no, things. it was like a dead-ass page, like, you know, this is like, what the page is for, is for like, people who are into that, and like, there'd be like, dudes, I remember one dude was like, miss me with the gay shit, and then like, a girl commented below, like, like, the next comment below was like, yes, and I was like, oh, well, what? They like the flavor. Dog, it was, it was weird. There's a lot of fucking, there's a lot of weirdos on Twitter, I'm wow. finding out. The internet's a wonderful place. It's Twitter, bro. I saw this one uh, link to a uh, Twitter thingy, and like the bio was like, if you've seen pictures of my feet, you probably owe me money. I was like, <laughs> I don't know what this person posts, but that's hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I also watched uh, Chance the Rapper shit on a random woman on uh, Twitter <laughs> like, today. actual no, shit? No. Or? No. <laughs> But this kid that he knows is in the is in the hospital right now, and he needs to get like a special operation that they only do in Thailand because it involves uh, stem cells and stuff. Ooh, rough. Fucking American. Fun fact of the day: uh, Thailand's medical industry is a one. Yeah. Oh mm-hmm. my god, they do supreme work for not a lot of money. Huh. Um, but it's like you know whatever. It's like a hundred fifty thousand dollars that he's trying to raise on GoFundMe, and Chance was like, "Hey, hey guys, if you're able to do uh, five thousand dollars by the end of the day, he's like, I'll." Donate the rest. And some chick comments, oh, so that's what it has to take to do that? Da, 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 da. And he was like, what? And she's like, she was basically trying to say that, 
Oh, so if we don't get the do- if he doesn't get the money, you're not gonna donate it? And he's like, Nah, I am. I'm just saying, like, you know. And she's like, Oh, so it's a pl- publicity stunt. And he's like, No. He's like, I just want people to be better. Like, the fuck. <laughs> and he like, I, f- I think at one point he was like, Get your stupid dot 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 stupid goofy ass out of here. And I was like, Chance for the win. That was the most Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was rough though, cause I was like, Wow, she's really like stupid. Yeah, I was like. Why did it have to? Why did you? Oh, you wanted you want publicity. Why couldn't you just donate it to money? Like, no, it's not about donating his money. Yeah, he's gonna donate the money. Obviously, you he's donated millions of dollars, literally, Bro, to millions. Chicago schools. So it's like it's not that he's not charitable. It's that he wants other people to show a little bit of faith. Yeah, I think it's impossible for a celebrity to do something like that without getting shit on for it. Yeah, and it was it's, like, it's but impossible. luckily, you know, people who know who. Our fans of Chance, yeah, had his back, and they were like, oh, "Fuck you, man, get out of here!" Listen, if you're not even a Chance of fan of Chance, you watch the news. You watch this man right. give a million dollars of his own money a couple times. You, you assume that people on Twitter watch the news. They do not. That's true too. But that the was news all, is on Twitter. That was all. <laughs> the news is on the Twitter. Good job. Fake Cody. news. Fake news. No, I said the news is on Twitter. <clears throat> you said the news is on the Twitter. It's on the Twitter. <laughs> it's on. It's on the snap books, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fake news, though. But like, yeah, even it was the, like the that, twitstagam. Him donating that money was all over the Twitter the first time he did it. You see how I just now I yeah, just said yeah, the Twitter too. The Twitter, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Like, start a petition, get it changed. <laughs> Might want to get this timestamp. Cause I don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> you about to? I swear, Jordy, you make me. I was go. gonna say a certain thing is contagious, but <clears throat> I don't even want to know. So, Never mind. Uh, cool thing is, because uh, you were talking about the whole GoFundMe or Kickstarter or whatnot. Um, Carrico Roll, they did this like GoFundMe thingy where they started on like the beginning of this month, March 4th, and they just wanted to raise like $750,000 to like make an animated special, like two parts uh, for their show. Within the first week, they were like in a million, and now they are at two, two, two. Seven point nine million dollars. When nerds unite, Jesus Christ! Yo, yeah, yeah, this is, it actually broke records for the um, fastest, highest grossing uh, Kickstarter in the history. Uh, I think it was like the top three. But That's still, insane. what's wild is that so, the people who donated after they already got the money they needed. Those yeah. are those are some true fans yeah. right there, bro. Well, they Let's give them some more shit. They're like, okay, well, crap. Since you guys keep on uh, doing, we need to add like a bunch more milestones. And they're like, okay, well, here's some. If we get to like, you know, maybe uh, fifty thousand, and then, or um, I think it was like uh, two million. And then they kept on going. They're like, okay, well. If we get to like uh, seven point five million, we'll make it like a whole uh, series, like uh, eight episodes. And uh-huh. then if we get to eight point eight million, which we don't think this is going to happen, you guys have already done more than enough. But we'll make it a uh, ten episode series, and we'll like have um, we'll buy one of our people's contracts from the uh, studio that they work for because they're all, um, never able to like make a bunch of their shows. So we'll be able to like buy her to be able to go and like be around more often for more of the shows. That's dope. And they're gonna have like a one shot where they have all the guests that's ever been in like the first campaign, which is a bunch of celebrities, a lot. like all in for uh, this like battle royale type thing. That's dope. And um, I mean, the way it's looking, they're gonna be getting there pretty fast. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's they, crazy. They did seven point five mil. You know what else is like really uh. A really fast growing GoFundMe, and it was kind of disturbing. What the wall? Oh. I was literally at work watching it go up by like the hundreds of thousands. Jesus Christ. Yeah, still <laughs> and re- and looking at like peop- the amount of money people were donating. Somebody donated like a hundred thou just off the rip. Swear to God, I was like, and then like the people following was like fifty thousand, twenty thousand, and I was like, what? That is wild. So are we actually getting the wall? By the way, uh, I don't know. I've been paying attention. You ever want to see something happen just to watch it fail? <laughs> I kind of think it'd be cool. Like, like I low key want to. The Chinese go have the their wall now. the Chinese have their Great Wall. I mean, what that if we was got also a in a different one? era? I know, but like that's what I'm and saying. And it was like, also to keep out actually bad people. <laughs> yeah, people who were trying to pillage them. Hey, the hey, Mongols. Hey, hey, not all Mongols. Not hey, <laughs> hey, Cody. The last time you got on this, you said rape is justifiable. Like, that's what I was getting at. I was like, the last time we were on about the Mongols, we all know. Some, some shit got still, weird. There was some rapey shit. <laughs> I'm, right? just, I'm just curious to see like how that endeavor would like translate into like today's day and age because we'll probably have like 
some maybe high tech cool wall stuff going on. I'm assuming oh, it's not no, going to just be like sticks and shit. You know it's going to be on that high tech wall? Big ass guns to kill all the Mexicans who walk <coughs> near the wall. That's what it's going to be. That's the only high tech thing he cares about. It doesn't matter. Like that's it. No, 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 no. no. He literally let's, let's back as, as a strong. He literally just posted on Twitter today uh, a video of like, and it was like an infrared video of like Mexican people <coughs> hopping over this fence, and the caption was like, "This is an invasion," and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I was like, "It's not an invasion. How how are you? How are you? How how could you possibly justify saying that? Are we in war? Yes." Well, war on drugs, war on terror. Oh, oh my drugs. God! I mean, Second, cartels Brandon, though. Brandon, I do have to say one thing. Cartels are run by the government. It's been guys, proven guys, time guys, and time again. Let, let oh. George speak. George, there will not be machine guns on top of the wall. Let's look back to our history and be fire hoses. Oh my I was God. hoping for rail guns. I, <laughs> like, I stopped y'all's conversation for that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just excited to see like. What kind of cool technological way we It's can literally think been of. a proven fact that like, our to, government has funded their cartels. Yeah, that's not that's on not good. On numerous occasions. True fact. That's not good. Yeah, but they Cody, funded them Cody. to bring coke into our country. That was in the name of democracy code. That was all right. This is just me excited for like just technology in general. Like it'd be nifty if they had like maybe concussive rounds that just like blast people back away from the wall that's if they get too thing. close. They would probably use rubber bullets. Or, yeah, which would yeah. still fucking kill you. No, they don't kill you. They hurt. They hurt very bad. Try to rub a hood in the right spot; it'll probably kill you. It hurts very bad. Or sandbag shotguns; those are scary. Yeah, oh, I don't know. It's, it's a, a shotgun shell that has a little bane, uh, uh, or bean a bean bag. bag in it. Mm-hmm. That yeah. sounds like that would hurt so bad. Yeah, yeah. they <laughs> use it in prisons. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you you yeah. wanna you wanna riot here? Wham! <laughs> <laughs> But then they just throw feces. Yeah, I, I, even I, even playing field, right? I'm just that is so scary to think about. <laughs> what? what? You're in prison, and it's like this dude knows he has AIDS. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna throw my piss all over the place. Piss or shit, whatever yeah, it is. I'll put you in confinement for sure, dude. They don't give a shit. Like yeah. when <clears throat> you gotta think, someone has AIDS and they're doing that. They probably have an insane amount of time. They're like, you know what? Fuck you. And everyone around, because y'all are breathing all this in. I have a friend that works in... I don't think you can breathe in AIDS, but okay. Still, he's throwing (laughs) shit! That happens a a lot. I have a friend that works in the prison system, and he was telling me, like, they have a term for uh, when they'll... uh, The inmates will, like, see, like, a staff member and just, like, beat off to them in front of them. It's called gunning. That's amazing. (laughs) That's... That's a thing. It's that called happens. asserting dominance. Oh yeah. god! Stare at another man and beat off. No, like, like yeah, I, it can be to the men, but it's also for like the female staff members. I'll just like stare at them and just <laughs> gunning. Nah, this is prison. They go knuckles up. Just <laughs> 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 oh, whoa. we're learning a lot today. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Jesus yeah, Christ. I just think that's wild. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's just... and it's not even like all of them in prison. It's just the young people. They're stupid. Like the other people are just like, yeah, I'm in here. That's Fuck true. It. Like some of the, it's the OGs young people that, that are like there? going for like drug possession or like. Oh no, not try, them. No, like it's drug dealers, the... shit like that. They'll like uh, get busted <laughs> and they'll go in trying to like bust the biggest guy in the yard to oh, yeah, their dominance. They're idiots. That's yeah. not. They're not in there long enough to be needed to do all that. Well, some of them are, but like you know, depending on how much drugs you get caught. Drug with, dealers I mean, get longer sentences than pedophiles. That's true too, though. Pedophiles get fucked up though. They do. Mm-hmm. And fucked. Yeah. Yep. Well, I thought they were kept from the general population. No, they're kept with the murderers. Oh. It's, the same, it's the same block. So the people who really don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so even the murderers don't like the pedophiles. And that's why we say on this podcast all the time. Murder is justifiable. Child rape? Not. Nah. You just an asshole. Did you hear about Shane Dawson recently? No. Uh, didn't he get married? To yeah, that. Child? No, to a man, but... Um, yeah, that's good for him. Uh, No. There's some weird stuff been popping up on his uh, little podcast. He's he's, he's he kind of was justifying pedophilia. No, he compared uh, it to somebody who likes feet or oh yeah, my god. Wait, was it pedophilia or was he talking about like I don't know pedophilia? Anime? Yeah. Straight up yeah, pedophilia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, That's he said wild. some people have preferences. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And then he also let loose a story of like when he was like 12 years old, he like dry humped his cat until he came. <laughs> I mean, are we surprised from Shane Dawson? This is the same dude. 
He said he spread the cat's legs open and he just no. kind of just started no. humping it. Yeah. No. He said he, he said, oh, there was no penetration though. Like that's that's what oh, made yeah, it better. That's what I'm worried and about. he said he just started humping until he came and he got it all over the cat and shit. <laughs> he said that was his first sexual experience. <laughs> oh no. Dude, usually cat is a flashlight. He knew he liked pussy. Oh my god. Yeah. So is this, is this the same dude who got oh. in bed and started crying about leaving Bri- leaving Brick? No, no, that's no, a different guy. That's not what? leave Britney alone, bitch. No, that's a different no. Guy. He was one of the first uh, YouTube personalities, Shane Dawson. Um, But um, I'm just saying, cat people. (laughs) He dry humps his cat. I like my dogs. Yo, it's like it was like when we were at George's open mic night, and that lady was like, "I'm a horse person." And Caleb was like, "Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I'm a horse girl." No, before she even said she was a horse girl, she's like, "I like animals a lot." I'm like, "She's a." He was like horse girl. Horse and girl. and she's like, I'm a horse girl. And then like I was like, oh God. And like <laughs> other people were like that. And then like one dude was like, woo. And then she's like, Yeah, those people that were groaning were probably groaning because of you and me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, a horse girl. Uh, it's rough. That's hey, there's always that one horse girl and everybody's great. Hey, they look great. It's just they're fucking crazy. Yeah, well, you know what's funny is when we, when she got the cut, he's like would poke. Would poke. Would, would poke. Would poke. Yeah. <laughs> and then she said, I'm a horse girl. Cody was like, still would poke. Still would like, poke. It's still attractive. Yeah. It's just that. She had good hips, but mm. apparently it's probably from. Oh, wait, no. She's never been on a horse, she said later. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you saw her hair. She looked like Cindy Lou Who. Oh, my God. That was funny. I wasn't looking at her head. Speaking of our weeks, George did that. Right? Oh, yeah. I did, I did stand up people. Yeah. High hand touches. High That's hand good touch. stuff. He actually killed it. Yeah, George. Did a good job. Did a good job. Thank you. George, we thought didn't kill it. George was going to no, lie. You didn't kill it. I know. He, started <laughs> he, did a good little, job. he started off a little rough. I feel like if he you started killed politics. it your first time, that, that would be like a monumental yeah. moment for like everybody. Yeah, Yeah, we've been like, no. wow, our friend actually has talent. You da- you have talent. It's <laughs> Thanks, just like Caleb. you don't actually have talent. <laughs> no, that sounds really bad. Let me rephrase that. You, you don't have a surprising you, amount of talent. Don't make me so- <laughs> Yeah. My you, my you, my <laughs> Yo, this is just not coming out right at all. You. You're doing great for yourself. I'm good enough, You're Caleb. Doing. You could have just said I'm good enough. That was more than acceptable. Cody, in, those, in those videos, this is the moment where he'd be like, I dropped me spliff. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped me spliff. Holy yeah. Somebody You're get doing me a shot today. I'm excited to see what comes. Thanks, buddy. Ugh. That just came. Just It was bad and it got worse. Ooh. Jesus Christ, Sheesh. that was wow. funny. My- he said he had a surprising amount of talent. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how George is looking at him right now. Too. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a headache. My you, <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> what? That's not okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. This is not okay. Yeah. This is not okay. <laughs> I just had all my friends shit on my dream. No, I didn't shit on you too. I laughed at the fact that homeboy had two feet and a dick in his mouth. <laughs> it was just, it got so bad. It was just king words. <laughs> Uh, he kept trying. More dicks kept getting shoved in. <laughs> ah, dude, fucking, you're talentless. I mean, ah. <laughs> it's not that you're bad. You're just a hack. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. So basically what he's trying to say is you did a good job. We were all surprised because, you know, you've never been on stage before. Yes. That's, that's Thank what, you. That's what Thanks. he was trying to say. Me don't do English good. <laughs> <laughs> Words bad, Caleb. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dorf. <laughs> Dorf? Uh, Dorf, it's my uh, chungus word. Ch- chungus? Oh, Jesus what? Christ. Big chungus. Yes. What? Big chungus, Cody. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? I can't. You don't know that big chungus, Cody. I don't like how he's, he's posed. He's over there. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I don't know. What were we even talking about? Big chungus. <laughs> His whole ass belly just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like a big break. This is how prison rape starts. This is how prison rape starts. 
Is that why he's called Big Panties? Because he just looked at people and was like, <laughs> Big Panties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's come full My circle. abs hurt. It's come full circle. <laughs> I just almost fell off the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> He just over there with his big ass belly. Oh. <laughs> big chunk. <is. laughs> what the fuck are you saying to me? <laughs> what? what are you you're speaking words to me right now? <laughs> fuck out of here. Holy shit. Oh my Why god. Why are you speaking words? Cody, I'm saying big chunk. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't know what you're selling. Get this fuck away from me. <laughs> I don't want your chunk of cookies. <laughs> your fucking popcorn. Get the fuck out of here. You Boy Scout looking bitch. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Tell your mom to stop bringing you to fucking Kroger. I just want some broccoli, bitch. Some goddamn broccolini and olive oil. <laughs> this big chunk is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh. Oh, I don't fucking want it. Holy shit. I don't want it. Okay. How, I don't give a shit on this topic. The money you're raising is for Parkinson's, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. How did we get here? Go away. <laughs> Go back. Big chunk is my back. ass. You fucking boy scout. You get the fuck out of here. What the hell? You fucking cub scout. Oh, God. Go get diddled by the scoutmaster. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh my god. Not in my is that your scoutmaster not in, thing? Not in my he Christian is, platoon. Is that what's going on in the woods? <laughs> he just rapes you until you can't talk anymore. You're just walking around looking at people with cans of popcorn, tongue mouth, big jungles. Fucking raped the English out of you. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Fuck out of here. We're not in podcast anymore. Oh, Brandon. Oh, I need a doctor. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, Brandon. It's Gatorade. What was that? <laughs> what was that uh, D.L. Hewley joke? I don't want to get a scout badge for keeping a secret. <laughs> oh, no. Big chunk of shit out of here. Uh, uh, holy that shit. That felt good. We've oh that God. was like that was a good. What's fucked up is I wasn't joking. That's how uncomfortable that big chunk of shit made me. That is dead ass how uncomfortable that shit made me. No, that's a solid minute and a half of us just dying laughing. <laughs> oh my, oh my Caleb, God. Are you alright? Like no, my abs were killing me. Like he died. This is King Hard. Worse and worse. Like he died. Yo, my head hurts so bad right oh, now. Get the up. fuck out of here. I swear, you guys have given me more headaches in my life, not because of how irritating you are, but how hard you've made me laugh over my life. It's good. This is good. Oh, my Jake Lord. I'm sitting here crying like a little bitch, just like <laughs> trying to mind my yeah. own business. And what killed me is you said, get out of Kroger. Get <laughs> the fuck out of Kroger. Get the fuck out of here. Sick of this shit. Yo, those. I'm actually writing a bit about this right now. Those fucking Girl Scouts are fucking ruthless. Bro, they are fierce. Like, to y'all, they don't talk to me. Oh, well, because you're scared yeah, of them. Because you don't look like you have money. Dog, I get the. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Why are we so savage tonight? <laughs> but it's like not true though, because I grocery shop in Yeezys. I know. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So Do homeless like, people bother you either? They always stare at me. There's always like this weird look when I'm in my car. Holy shit. And I, shit. I look over and they're like, I don't know. I don't have a lot of interactions with homeless people just because like if they're on that street corner, I usually look at them. And if they make eye contact, I do this thing where I remain. I keep eye contact with them to a certain dominance because I'm not homeless. <laughs> what? He said, I, I swear to kid George. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. You fucking Boy Scout Bugs Bunny Elmer Fudd ass bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I now have to put that picture in this podcast. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, no, no. Oh. That upsets the fuck out of me. <laughs> Literally upsets me to where I don't want to fuck. Holy I don't like this. Big chungus. Those stupid Girl Scout bitches. Who's, George. W- who's weak were we on? <laughs> George just sent a meme in our group chat of Big Chungus. And it's How are you going to say, I don't, I'm bit, I, have the, I have the greatest fashion sense out of <laughs> all of your friends. <coughs> okay. All right. Anyway, 
Um, Caleb, I think you're the only one who hasn't said anything about their week. I was in Florida. It was great. Got to go to beaches. <laughs> It was nifty. I made friends with a couple of people that had, you know, seven teeth between all of them. <laughs> That's Florida for you, bro. Hey, it was something. We were in the boonies, so uh, Ooh. yeah, it, it was actually cool. We went to a bar called the Boondocks, and um, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool. It was a country bar, so I was like, okay. You felt at home. Yeah, I actually kind of did. They played some music, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, this is fucking Redneck Angel. Let's go. There's a dance to it. You can do it to a bunch of songs. Anyways, um, they were like, wow, you dance real good. And I'm like, yeah, you guys know any of these like line dancing type songs? And they're like, mm, no. But, <laughs> uh, you know, they, they made good enough of a first impression. We went there two times. The second time we went there, because um, this place is like only like 15 minutes away from where Kaya lives, um... They, they were like, hey, it's Caleb. And I was like, ah, I got a hero's welcome. This is only my second time coming here. We also were like the only group of people that had like all of our teeth. Get the fuck out of us. here. No, I don't like that look. Stop. <laughs> no. Is it more chungus? Stop. No. I just looked at him. <laughs> he gave me that fucking chungus look. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Stop. <laughs> Are you two done? Ah, damn. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer looking motherfucker. Mm, <laughs> Leave nom, me alone. Nom, nom. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, but, Caleb. You, yeah. had, you had a good time? Yeah, yeah. Um, I fucking love warm weather. Just everything about that was great. I needed it. I needed to get the fuck out of Indiana. But then I missed Indiana because, you know, you can do shit in Indiana. You're not in the bum fuck nowhere. <laughs> we had to drive two hours to get anywhere to do anything. That's I was like, all right, we're going to be in Florida. This is going to be great. Nah, man. It was like trees. And more trees. Yeah, outside like of the resort, trees. Florida is literally just <laughs> swamp the fucking land. country for it's, swamp people. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Floridians are wild. Like, they are the craziest Look, people. this is how Florida is. There's literally only three parts. There's there's swamp hillbillies, there's the hood, and then there's the resorts. That's it. That's, mm -hmm. yep. Literally it. I was able to uh, blend into each one of those environments, though, which was cool. Like, the hood people, I was like, oh, what up, though? They're like, he looks black, we'll accept him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Jit. Hey, yeah. what's up, Jit? Oh my God, I can't. I always never understood why what, Jit. Jit? Yeah, why Jit? Out of all the all the sounds that could come out of your mouth, you choose Jit. Makes no sense. Um, I don't know. I imagine it's like maybe some Haitian influence. Probably. So, have you guys heard of the Florida Man? Um, yes, I know Florida, Florida Man. Florida yes. <clears throat> okay, so um, it, it's just great. Um, it, for those of y'all that don't know, if you put in Florida Man and then your birth date. You'll get like a pretty awesome story um, for like a Florida man that like went to jail or died or, or some stupid shit. For mine, it was um, Florida man. Uh, what was it? Florida man dies in explosion after attempting to microwave a microwave. <laughs> and that's how you know you're not supposed to go to anywhere in Florida except for the resorts. What's your birthday, because Brando? Because they're all crazy. What's your birthday, Brando? October twenty second. Dude, you can't even do it anymore because all these articles are making <laughs> yeah, articles about, about Florida, the Florida Man, Man Challenge. Oh, Florida Man, October 22nd. If I remember correctly, mine was actually just not a bad thing. That's the first. Something bad, something not bad is associated Florida with Man dude. kills time in Social Security office by masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What was it? I love that that is yours. That's amazing. Well, what was Florida it? Man <laughs> kills time in Social Security office by masturbating. Oh, no. Oh, God. Florida man, October 22nd, stabbed man to death while high on LSD. Sounds about right. Sounds like Florida. E. Yeah, I don't, I've never ventured out into like the actual Florida, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there are certain places you go where you want to experience the culture of that, even state, you know what I mean? Tallahassee, you know. No, I don't, no, 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 Florida? No, I do not. I do not want to go anywhere but the resort in Florida. But Tallahassee was really nice. There were like beaches and shit. I've never been to Tallahassee. Uh, it's like That's country as fuck out there. I know yeah. Jacksonville. The part we were at was pretty cool. Jacksonville is. Jacksonville was pretty lit. Um, we went there. That was nice. Tallahassee nice is country mall. as fuck. Even the people in the hood are country as fuck in Tallahassee. Yeah. Really? Yes. I right, had the part we were in. We went to like Moe's. Isn't that where fucking sure, um, uh, Lil Duval's from? He's from Jacksonville. Oh. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, Jacksonville's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jacksonville had a nice mall. Um, Tallahassee was kind of cool. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just a fun time. <coughs> That's dope. 
Yeah, definitely a lot more green. And we got to drive through like Knoxville on the way back, so we got to see mountains and shit. So I got to yeah. see less industrialized, you know, just Midwest. But mm-hmm. then I missed Midwest because like I mean, there's Knoxville's kind of in the south. That's fun. Bunch of shit. Well, no, that was just we drove through there on the way back. Oh, I got gotcha. Yeah, we didn't actually visit. But um, I was just saying like I missed Indiana because like. There's a bunch of shit you can do out here. I found my Florida man article. And Sorry, I also Caleb. missed my dog. Police. Florida man rigged door and attempt to electrocute pregnant wife. <laughs> That's you, George? <laughs> yep. Oh. Of course. <laughs> Accurate. Of course. <laughs> Accurate. That's hilarious. Oh, God damn. But yeah, it, it, was, it was fun. It's a good time. Yeah. So sometimes you just got to get out of this fucking place. Yeah. Yeah. The state will drain you during the the nine months of the year where it's dog shit cold. It'll drain you. <laughs> right. And the heat's drain you. I'm not oh sure if you God. guys noticed uh, when you're coming in, but my street that was a one way, one way, <laughs> then a one way, the other way for and a while. Then it was it was open. That was like normal. Yeah, it's normal for. Is now time. again a fucking one way. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I'm happy. Oh God. Uh, At least nice it's the neighbor. one way that leads you to your work, though. Yeah. It's a benefit, I guess. It has its pros and cons. When I want to go down to saddle up, I got to like go through this whole, like, whole loop, and I have to drive through Clay Terrace. <laughs> Which is not a fast drive through. <laughs> it's not a fast drive through. Well, I'm going to work, all. it's all right, because you know no nobody's awake at like 6 in the morning, but you know in the evening, you know 7 o'clock or whatever when I'm trying Ooh. to go out. No, everybody's like, I want to walk my kids across the street, <clears throat> and we're not going to look both ways. And we're not even going to use the crosswalk that has really <laughs> bright lights that says, hey, oh. please don't hit us. We're pedestrians crossing at the crosswalk like pedestrians should. No, we're going to walk fucking diagonally across the long way of the fucking <laughs> oncoming traffic lane because that just makes sense. Yo, I don't know what it is about people in Clay Terrace. They're stupid. That's but what. They're all entitled rich people. No, mm. Cody. I. It's not the entitled rich people who do it, though. It's the ones who aren't the entitled rich people that come from all the other cities around us. That come in here. We're I, not I, from here. I, I Why saw, you guys do it around here? <laughs> I, I saw, ah, I this I is Carmel like, Hospitality. They won't hit us for being an idiot. <laughs> cool. I feel like such an elitist right now, but it's so irritating <clears throat> because people and Carmel understand how to use a fucking sidewalk. It's like a walkway. Across we the understand walk. how but you use a fucking have roundabout. Sidewalks where both Cephas comes from, bro. And they, I will literally look out my <laughs> store, yeah. and my store directly across is not a crosswalk. And they will literally be walking directly across the street to my store door, <laughs> and I'm like, Yo, you work. What? Here's how we solve this problem. Run those dumpster kids over and set the tone. You know something else that really uh, grinds my freaking fracking gears in the morning? Oh, when go. joggers want to just go on the road in the morning, <laughs> you know, nobody else is up at six in the morning. <laughs> except for fucking joggers in their reflective suits. And they're like, yeah, I could walk on like the unpaved ground over here so I don't get hit in the, by a car. But, you know, that would make too much sense. These roads are for me, too. I'm Wait till the important. bikes come I'm back. Stop, George. We're not. Here we go. No. Oh, oh, and even better, I found out a different group of, <coughs> sorry, Brandon, I have to say this word. Uh, All right, what time was that? Cross Country Runners. 1500. Cross Country it. Runners. Oh, my from God. From Carmel Dude. High School. Oh, yeah, there's like, because there's a mob of them. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. And they're all no. like men with tiny ass clothes on. They look like chickens. No, 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 no. like you chickens. think their dick is about to just fall out they shorts, too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Be like, I no, can't no. look at this. It's even worse. The bitches. Oh, the bitches. I have to cut that one too. I'm sorry. That's, the that's girls. Too... We can say bitches. No, no, no. Not in that way. That no, was no, a little no, aggressive. No, 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 no. <laughs> those, those, those are the children. Bitch, the <laughs> bitches. <laughs> those are children. I'm not yeah. putting that in there. Yo, I was going. George, are you down. admitting pedophilia right now? No. No. Oh, I see what you're saying. To like, quote my favorite. In like a bitches be wild and not like a you're a no, fucking bitch. No, I'm saying this because they're trash people. You shouldn't say that to a child to begin with because you're a grown ass man. That you're a bitch? Uh, yeah. No. no, no. I know plenty of no, children yeah. that are bitches. Facts. No, 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 no. most kids 100%. are bitches. 100%. Not, not someone, not a child you my do brother. not know. No, no. I know. I, I've seen plenty of children that are bitches that I didn't know. I'm like, well, I'm really glad I don't know that kid because he looks like a little bitch. I have to leave this in here now because we're having a whole conversation like, yeah. about it, which yeah. is really irritating. But we know your brother. I've never met your brother. Uh, I've seen him. I've seen him in passing at times that we were both at the same place at the same time. I haven't met a, held a single conversation with your brother. He doesn't ever. Hold, he doesn't hold conversations with us. Yeah. He can't. No, you just got to say weird shit to him until he leaves you alone. I mean, your brother. Sometimes. I feel like that works with most he people. He doesn't talk because he, his English isn't good. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Well, you, you should you should hear him talk sometimes. It's like what you set a poor. He strikes me as like a a memer, like an internet person. He he spends a lot of time on the internet, so he's not great in person. Not anymore. Or got no maybe, access to it. Just oh, maybe. True. He's an awkward teenager. Yeah, most awkward yeah. teenagers I don't think, are memers. First of all. I don't think awkward teenagers act the way Cody's brother does sometimes. I oh, think. We were going to bring that up, unless Cody was going to bring it up. No. I mean, I didn't say anything specific. I just said, you know. Yeah, he's just dumb sometimes. Yeah, like awkward teenagers don't do the shit his brother does. <laughs> like <laughs> Awkward teenagers like, hide themselves in their room and don't talk to people. I was an awkward teenager. Which I get teenager, he doesn't talk to people. And but I, like, I talk to he still people. does stuff. Well, I didn't really talk to people. I didn't go out of my way to talk to people. It's just like, you fuckers found a way to come around me anyways. Probably because Izzy was like super popular. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the first time I ever met Caleb <coughs> was the only reason oh, I ever met you. What was your first memory for meeting me? I remember no, no, no. for George, it. it was. I'm telling you this right now. Yeah, I, we the movie joke. We had we were having some type of party at our house like we normally do during the summer, and Israel was coming, and Israel was like, "Bro, I can't come." I was like, "Why?" He's like, "Cause my mom won't let me come unless I bring my brother." And I was like, "Fuck it, bring him." And that's the only that's the very first <laughs> interaction I had with Caleb was you were just brought because Israel's mom said that she couldn't go unless you were there. Actually, what? I think that's how I met you because we had a bonfire at Cody's house. That's oh, why. Yeah, I, I do remember that. Izzy jumped over the fire. <laughs> yeah. Re- y'all remember George jumped over the fire and his entire it didn't ass work. leg and arm? <laughs> that, wasn't at, that was at Phil's house. Yeah, was that, that was at Phil's house. That was another oh, okay. bonfire. But, um, and that's only because I jumped through it at its highest point. <laughs> I don't remember. Not a smart move, but that's why. So was I just like awkward and quiet at that no, bonfire you were, that Izzy took you me to? You. No, you were you. I don't know how I don't remember. That's how I knew I could walk up to you and say the Bofa thing. I'm cool, guys. Yes, you are. Yeah, I know I am. I mean, the Nishika probably only wanted you, Israel to bring you because you had no friends here, and she's probably tired of looking at you. Yeah. I, I was always in the basement anyway, so she didn't even have to see me. Oh. Well, there you go. She wanted you Maybe to my dad kind of pressured her into pressuring you. Probably. That's probably what happened. <coughs> but after that, we couldn't fucking get rid of you, so, you know, you stuck. <laughs> I was hanging out with the marching – or the co- – yeah, the color guard girls. Y'all just fucking – Showed up and I was like, okay. Well, I guess no, no, I no, may no, as well no, need no. to know some that, guy. So that is, that the is girls will think that, that I have something better to do than always be around them. So it makes me look like a Why little bit he, more popular. He acting like we just showed up in his life. Like, nah, it what? Was, <laughs> I don't know how it happened to be honest. It was just a remember. string of coincidences. Like, yeah, had I not worked at Duncan, I would have never met re-met Phil because yeah. I had a class with him where he was the only person that talked to me. And then, like, I ended up working there and he's like, oh, hey, I remember you from geometry. That's a like, oh, yeah, I'm here with my brother. And then he was. He's like, whoa, is he your brother? I'm like, yeah, you know him? He's like, fucking everybody knows him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Should we have a yeah. moment of silence for Phil? I mean, no, I was going to ignore it. But Damn it. I know. really miss my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's becoming a dad, y'all. He's got too much going on. I you think know? his hair is looking uh, pretty cool. Have you seen what he did with it? Like he got looks like a molester. Yeah. I haven't seen him in like. Oh, you mean when it's we were? He's like always low up. key looked like that. It's you just the soft face in the glasses. Well, you talking about when he had his mustache and fill, uh, No, no, like I saw him just today. He, oh, I, he no, did I like something him. different with it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't seen Phil since it's like a style the, cut. I haven't seen Phil since the open mic night. So. Oh wow, yeah, he's got like kind of a style cut going right now. And I'm like, oh okay, Phil, I see you being mm-hmm. a little trendy. He's allowed to do those things. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's trying to say trendy because we keep calling him dad, so he's scared. Oh man. But, I mean, yeah, you can have a moment of silence for Phil if you want to, George, by yourself over there. Just well, I just talk, did. I don't talk talking. for the next 15 I was, minutes, I, please. I already Thank stopped. You. I already stopped. You're cut off. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> cut, cut audio from uh, speaker two. Uh, one. Emotionally scarred one. from Big Chungus. No, no, I think, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm think i one because my light's on the far left. You are low-key kind of like beep, beep, low energy oh, now since the yelling. Yeah, it scarred. took it out of him. That shit actually bugged me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> have you never seen that before? No. Oh, and it's I, the fat Bugs Bunny, dude. I don't like it. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about, and then he showed me the Bugs Bunny, and that made it worse. I don't, I don't know. like it. It gives me anxiety. I don't know. The name, everything about it, just, I don't fucking know. No. Not no. Dig- not digging what? it at all. I know it is. Uh, uh, recently, when I've been playing video games and stuff, like, I'll play someone that I get just, like, really bulky and hard to kill, and I'll hit people for, like, all their health, and I'll just, I'll see. I'm Big Chungus now, and then, like, when I hit him, I'll just go, dwarf. And so that's my um, stupid sprint, you know, slapping noise. George, don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of built like him. <laughs> yeah, because I'm fat. George, no, be, but like, I'm be fat him too. for Halloween, please. No, it's like, it's oh, like no. the conversation we've had, right? Fat People carry their fat in different ways, right? Mm-hmm. Me and you carry our fat completely differently. Everything oh, yeah, goes yeah. south on you. Yeah. Mine just stays in my butt, in yeah. my gut. Your butt? Brando's over here no, no, dummy no. thick. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I was going to say belly, but changed it to gut, but didn't say the G. Yeah. So it's like, but like that is how you carry your weight 100%. And now that I look at it, it made me laugh so hard inside. Cause I was like, damn, that literally looks like Georgie Boy. Yeah. I don't like it. And then the way you're sitting with it. Dog, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fucking uh, scout master bitch. Jesus Christ. Get you a badge for being fucking weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, so I was telling um, Caleb and George earlier about how I realized, I, re- I re- realized how black my dad's family is. Right, because I haven't been around them in so long, and just listening to the like, because they were at the house um, before we came over here, and just listening to them talk was like the wild. It was the wildest stories I've ever heard in my life, and I was like, this is something that would only happen to like niggas, right? Oh like, my god! Like they were even talking about like some dude who was fixing a car, and he's like, and Tevin was like. Niggas can't do nothing with them. <laughs> I was like, I was like, ah, oh, Jesus. There are some stories that like you you all overhear, and you're like the whole time you're thinking like this can only happen to like this type of person. Yeah, yeah. it was a hundred percent that, and I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, it made me miss going to like Alabama because I haven't been in so long, and just being around everybody. Like, God, I don't know if George, if you remember this chick, but we worked with her at uh, the factory. Oh, God, and it was like. You could almost guarantee that just about everyone who worked there was like, you know, trailer park. Mm. <laughs> and she's telling the story about how, like, her neighbor doesn't like her dog because it's a pit bull. And she's telling me all this. And she's calling her her neighbor, which you don't have neighbors when you live in a <laughs> fucking <laughs> lot, uh, a trailer lot. Yeah. This is not a neighbor. I don't There's a word for it. I'll, I'll think of it. It'll come. But it's not your fucking neighbor. That's yeah. funny. And you know those like little, you know those little globes you put in the ground that like you know you s- they stick in the ground and they're like they soak up the sunlight and then they glow at night or whatever. Yeah, yeah. She was she was over there complaining about how her neighbor was like calling her dog over to her side of the fence and just started jabbing her dog in the face with one of those. And the whole time I'm like, this would only happen in a trailer park. Nowhere else on fucking planet Earth is there. An old white woman <laughs> that's going to summon a dog to her friends and just start jabbing her with a glowy fucking steak thing. Like, <laughs> only in the trailer park. Oh. It's not a goddamn neighbor. Yo. That would say the most country sentence I ever overheard. I Bo- shot him dead in the middle of the trailer park. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. God damn it. I, I heard it at work, and, like, I literally had to stop what the fuck I was doing. I was, like, putting it in an outlet or some shit, and I just sat there and, like, contemplated life. Just holding a device. That's crazy. My uncle was telling us the story today of how like he has a he has a dog, right? It's like a pit bull with the like the tiniest bit of German Shepherd in it. Mm. So it's the size of a pit bull, built like a pit bull, but has German Shepherd fur. Ugh. Oh no, that's weird. It's a it's a cool looking dog. It's just like a tiny German Shepherd that's just built. That's weird. I don't like that. I don't but like it's hilarious because like my dad was like they were just talking about the dog. The dog's crazy. Like he's like a legitimate like. If he doesn't know you, he will try to kill you, like, 100%. And he's like, and my dad was like, I bet the meaner man came and come in your backyard. And my uncle was like, nah, hell no, nah, he can't. <laughs> he's like, King will kill him. And I was like, Jesus Christ. That's some country shit. He lives in the middle of Indianapolis. <laughs> like, I don't, what? <laughs> don't understand. There's some, there's some weird people who are living in Indianapolis. Indianapolis is one of those cities where it's just like, the type of people who live here are just very odd. Everyone who failed in Chicago came here. Well, you know that Indiana, Indianapolis, is one of the most diverse cities in the country. It has like 200-some-odd countries represented within its city. How? It is racist as fuck here. I have no idea. That doesn't even make sense. I have no idea. We're also the fastest-growing city in the Midwest. That's Mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, never mind. Sorry. But think about it. Out of the 260 countries there are in the world, uh, like about 200 of them, one of their citizens is in Indianapolis. Well, or someone that's a descendant from them. It's probably because of the job opportunity. Yeah, probably. And Steven even tells me all the time, he's like, Indianapolis is the best place for kids oh, your God, age to live. Because the cost of living is so low. Right. And there's yeah. so many jobs around here. That's true. So, like, it's the perfect storm for that kind of, like... <clears throat> yeah, but it sucks. Oh, my... Mm. <laughs> place sucks ass. But then you also look at Indianapolis and you're like, oh, this is like the 12th most dangerous city in the whole entire country. Cool. <laughs> More people die here 
Then, or it's pretty close to Chicago, I think. Isn't it? Our murder rate's higher, but our pop since our population Which is, is low. Yeah, yeah since our population is only a quarter of theirs, they had technically have more murders. Yeah, <coughs> if you put it in perspective, if we had the same population, it would be like a goddamn war zone. Yeah, mm. it'd be like Chicago. No, <laughs> I'm glad we're not there. Yeah, Indianapolis is a is a. <laughs> but mm. I will say this: Indianapolis. Oh, well, yeah, you're going there, aren't you? Yes. Indianapolis yeah. is a. It's sometimes a pretty dope city. Like, sometimes, like spending like when I spent time down when I went to school and spent time downtown all the time, it was a dope city just to hang out in. Sometimes, I like when people like jokingly make it sound like I'm super duper high and mighty because I'm from Carmel, but then I seriously tell them I'm better than them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I don't all the time. <laughs> this is actually um, what off the cuff, but I was uh, reading up on the um, on Reddit. Indianapolis is apparently a great place to start stand up. Really? Yeah. Oh, Told you, know. Crackers Big Club. No, no, not just Crackers, just the, the amount of open mics in general and the c- general vibe of the city. Oh. Huh. Yeah, because everyone's bored here. They just want to laugh. Yeah. True. <laughs> that is one thing. And plus, they're they're nice enough to not heckle. Really? That's they got true. the Midwestern niceness. Midwestern niceness. people, as long as you look like them, they are real nice. You know what mm. I mean? Do we look Midwestern? No. Okay. My Brandon man. does. Brandon, George. <coughs> Maybe not you. Definitely not me. No. But I mean, like, everyone's generally nice. It's just like if you go to, like, the actual <coughs> Indiana Midwest, like, nah, that's not close. You mean, Caleb, you mean you do not go there? Oh, okay. No, no, no. That's not Darkies. A, that's not a thing we don't we can like them. Do. It's, also, it's also low key than one of the most racist states. <coughs> Still, which it's is not crazy. even low key, which doesn't make sense because no, it's low key because only Indiana people know about that. Because because we weren't even in the fucking Confederacy. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. everyone assumes also, that we're just like every other. No, Theo Vaughn shits us all shits on us all the time as the uh, state that founded the KKK. Oh, yeah, that's what we are. There's a Klansman yeah. outfit in the Indiana Indiana Museum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not low key at all. Well, I mean, there's I a mean, Klansman outfit. In I feel Alabama like it belongs museum. in a museum. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like that's where it belongs. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's. I feel like every time I've talked to somebody like that's not from Indiana, they don't know that Indiana's like super racist. <laughs> like, right. they think it's because it was in the north that it's like New York and I mean not like, but like the vibe of how people. Like, yeah, Indiana's so fucked. They fly the rebel flag up here. Explain that shit, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> they never even like. Well, my great great grandpappy was from Alabama. Oh, really? <clears throat> Great. Fantastic. It's my heritage. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's a, it's a really weird they state. They literally were never an established part of the country. What is the heritage? I know. I, <laughs> they literally, did, like, they were never established. They had no heritage. There was no culture. Hey, Cody, they came from slave owners, and they're proud of it. <laughs> no. All there is to it. What it is, is this, is this is what's baffled me about this. The people who, st- to this day, flaunt, like, the Confederate flag and say it's part of the heritage, they would have been as low as the slaves in the totem pole yeah. in that society. But they're still better than some people. That's all that matters. It confused because they're just as poor. Yeah. Like, yeah. the slave owners didn't give a fuck about but, them hey, either. Brandon, Brandon, they're not black. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why it's a bullshit excuse. It's my heritage. You don't have the heritage of slave ownership. You're well, poor. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like, the whole upper class. Like, the slave owners were upper class they were then. rich they liked to keep the poor people and like anyone else below them yeah at the end of the day they didn't give a fuck about your poor white ass either no yeah. they just cared about you just enough to not kill you they cared yeah. enough just, about you to put a gun in your hand just enough to secure your boat yeah that's literally right. all it was and everyone's like oh the confederacy it's like no you idiot read please the confederacy <laughs> they was can't really- read brandon <laughs> oh, jesus right. christ that's probably true. That's the part that irks me is like there was literally no culture to be to have heritage of like they were never an established part of the country. Like that that's not a thing. Yeah. No. Like what? You were your heritage is what? All Losing of like a war. <laughs> all of like what? One war, never an established part of the country. It was literally like how many how long was the civil war? It was probably like You're the history than, major. It was less yeah, than brain. 10 years, I think. Mm. Like it was it wasn't that long of a war. So there's no time to build a culture. Yeah, like that doesn't just happen. Well, yeah, you, you, yeah, you don't have time to build culture. You're fighting with the other people. Yeah. I'm going to look that up like, real quick. Cause hey, I need, I don't, yeah. It kept them comfortable. It kept them comfortable. 
the chemical in the water is turning the frogs gay. It literally lasted four years. <laughs> Not even a full four a years. A presidential cycle. Yeah, that was it. It was literally Lincoln's presidency. <laughs> that was it. Which I, okay, okay. Actually, I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to talk to you about this off stage. Never mind. I mean, off mic. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> Just killed the momentum there, George. That's Sorry, fine. Brandon. I had a very. And on that note. Yeah, I think that um, this has been a, another episode of Classically Urban. It has indeed. You guys are pretty good at watching that time when I'm not even watching it. I, I wasn't. Watching. I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we totally were. We we had our like stopwatches going. We just hand touches. Boop. <laughs> All right, it's your boy, Henry and Gryphos. We do game stuff. See me when I do stuff, sometimes. I'm George. I'm your mother's favorite side hoe. It's your boy, Baby Ice Cube. Peace out. <laughs>